Welcome, and this one let's prove to ourselves that the real part of a complex number z is equal to z plus z bar conjugate divided by 2. First, let's take a look at it mathematically. So we have the real part is z plus z bar over 2. So you can replace z with x plus yi, and you can replace z bar with x plus yi with that bar above it. I know it looks like an error, but it's meant to be a bar. And then there's a 2 in the bottom. Then apply the conjugate operator. So that basically just makes this negative in the middle here above my head. After that, you can just drop all the parentheses. So this one, this one, and this one, this one, drop all the parentheses, and you get this x plus yi plus x minus yi over 2. Continue. Notice that here we have x and x, like terms, and then yi minus yi, terms that can be canceled. So up here, we now have 2x plus yi minus yi over 2. And of course, yi minus yi is just 0. So you end up with 2x over 2. And then just cancel off the 2's in that position, and you end up with the real part of z is equal to x. Well, that is the definition, essentially, of the real part. Right, for example, right here, x plus yi, x is the real part of z. And this confirms that this is so. We can also take a look at it, graphically speaking. So if this is my complex number, x plus yi, so z equals x plus yi. Then on the bottom, that other arrow there, that would be the conjugate. So that is equal to z bar equals x minus yi which means the following, that this green arrow that you see here, that represents doing this. You take the purple arrow, and you translate it to the end of the blue arrow, without changing the direction of it. So that green arrow represents x minus yi moved over, and then when you add them, it's going to look like the following. It's this red arrow. So this is essentially the same concept as in vector addition. So this red arrow represents z plus z bar. So in other words, it's z plus z bar equals x plus yi plus x minus yi, and then after that, that's just going to give you 2x in that position. So this is what we have thus far. Essentially, that's z plus z bar equals 2x. And the 2x is really just the length of the red arrow, that's all it is, for different values of x. And then after that, we'll just divide both sides by 2. So you're going to divide the right side by 2 and the left side by 2. On the right side, of course, those two 2s will cross off. And the result is that you have that z plus z bar over 2 equals x. Can we visualize that in the picture? Sure. That's right here. That's in the middle here. Right here. That's z plus z bar over 2. In other words, it's right here. It's just the average of z and z bar if you think about it, because you're adding them and then dividing by 2. So that's some graphical insight for those of you who like that. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video.